Now, we 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Down. Well, 15 minutes, that is a long span yeah. of time. Especially in Denver, you know, in the eastern part of Colorado where it's flatter, mm -hmm. that's not out of the question. But near Denver, that's pretty surprising to see a tornado on the ground right. for that long around there. Fortunately, we don't have anything like that to worry Thank about. You. Yeah, that's a good thing. Got a good bit of sunshine, but we do have some strong storms on the way Sunday night. I want to go ahead and give everybody a heads up on that as you head into the weekend. Let's go to 31 Triple Doppler right now because we do have a few very small showers dotting the map, mainly on Marshall and DeKalb County. It's not a whole lot nearly all of you are dry, but as we zoom in on northeast Alabama over the last hour, you just can see that is kind of a smattering of those showers in Marshall and DeKalb County. One shower moving just outside of Gunnersville. Actually, you got a couple of showers splitting downtown in Marshall County right now. Most of these showers will keep pushing east as the day goes on, and a lot of you will stay dry. But if you're over northeast Alabama, maybe not a bad idea to at least keep the umbrella in the car, but you don't need to walk around with it all day. We're dry at the Sand Mountain Park and Amphitheater, but you see those dark clouds closer to Albertville on the Skycam network. Temperatures kept in check in Sand Mountain because of the clouds and the showers we've seen. It's 73 in Albertville right now. Many of us, though, will be heading for the mid 80s today. Very comfortable for late June, 86 to be exact. Again, most of us stay dry with that mix of sun and clouds through the rest of your Friday. The humidity, it's there. You'll notice it, but it's not too bad. It's just noticeable today and tomorrow as well. But by Sunday, that air you can wear, it is here and it's here to stay. The problem is not only is it going to make it feel very, very toasty on Sunday, but that's also part of the reason why we've got to watch some stronger storms Sunday night. Until then, future radar is pretty quiet. Friday afternoon, your high temperatures in the mid 80s, a little bit cooler in northeast Alabama, like we've talked about, where some of those showers are around. It's all quiet overnight. When you wake up Saturday morning, we've got temperatures in the mid 60s. Humidity there, but not too terrible. But look at these afternoon highs tomorrow. Yikes, low 90s for many of us. Fortunately, with that humidity staying in check, it won't necessarily be a bad day when it comes to that heat index, but you still want to take it easy outside. We'll be back in the low 90s with those actual temperatures Sunday afternoon, but it will feel much warmer than that as that humidity keeps ramping up. First day of Hydro Fest, of course, is tomorrow at Lake Gunnersville. About as good as it gets for Hydro Fest. Temperatures in the upper 80s down in Gunnersville with a good bit of sunshine all day long tomorrow. Most of Sunday looks good. There'll be a few scattered storms around, but Sunday night is what we're most concerned about as a cold front, a rather strong system for this time of year, moves across the heart of the country. We got a level two risk for Kentucky and Tennessee Sunday night. To the south here in our neck of the woods, the threat is slightly lower, but you still see a level one risk covers pretty much all of North Alabama. This is for Sunday night in particular, but keep in mind, we will still have the chance for a few pop up storms during the day on Sunday. Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon, but it's those storms on Sunday night that have the greatest risk for heavy rain, gusty winds and some larger hail as well. Exact timing is still a little bit up in the air. Keep in mind, we're still 48 hours away from this front moving through, so check back often on all of our platforms for updates throughout the weekend. Download that Wave 31 Storm Tracker weather app too. You'll also be able to track those storms in real time as they roll through on Sunday. Now, technically, Technically, Chris and Demetria, that is a cold front Sunday <laughs> night and Monday. I have to laugh. <laughs> yeah, we all do because it's not cooling us down at all. We'll no. stay in the low to mid 90s all of next week. Mm -hmm. In name only. In name only. <laughs>